guys and today um, I'm going to be talking about shells and this is part 3 of the hermit crab care video. Now what I would provide is 3 shells for each hermit crab. One smaller than the actual hermit crab shell, one the same size and one bigger. The reason why this is because if they are ready to molt, if they can, they can change into a smaller shell. If the shell isn't as comfortable as it is right now, then they can um, change into one that's more comfortable. If they don't like that, they can change them back to the normal. And the bigger one, if your hermit crab has molted and it is growing and its shell is getting too small for it, it can change into a bigger shell. But if there is no shells in the tank that it can change into, it will grow without any shells and when it comes to changing shells they can't be and then they'll grow and then they'll get stuck in their shop and die. Um, you should always have spare shells like I have just random shells that I've put in. This shell here, the rainbow one, is bigger than or uh, about the same size as my hammock crab opening shell right how it is. This one's bigger and I'm not sure which small. That one's really heavy. That might be small. Or that leopard shell. That leopard shell is bigger for my female crab. That's other leopard shell smaller. And that one's about the same size, just back there. Okay, anyway. Uh, big shell. Um well if your hermit crab has changed into a shell and it doesn't like it, um you can always take that shell to the pet store and hunt for bigger shells or the same size shell but different shape. Um Boiling shells is really good because I got some of my shells off the beach and I boiled them to get any rid of any germs and I've got a video of me boiling shells part 1 and 2 but the second one just cuts off because I ran out of my time limit. Um, so that's about it now. Alright. Um, it's good to get many different shapes and sizes. Um, yeah, hermit crabs look for kind of pretty shells as well, so they can like show off. Um, yeah, that's about it that I've covered. So thanks for watching. It's been a short video because there's not really much on shells that you have to know. Except for the openings and what type of shells. Oh yeah, one more thing. The shells not to get. Well, there's this. Is, I'm gonna use this one for example. Um, my hammock crab I bought three months ago, so I'm three months expert at hammock crabs. Anyway, um, I brought my hammock crab in one of these shells, but like it has a kind of twisty bit. Well. It's like got the opening here, it's got a little twisty bit, so when it goes into the coconut heart, coconut heart, it that's not gonna fit in. It has to go like that, not like that. Anyway, so I think I've covered everything, so thanks for watching and my part four will be on temperature and humidity. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, rate, comment and check out my channel just search up charlie cook and i'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it so thanks for watching see ya